Today I'm going to show you how to take a texture from an old generation model and put it on a newer generation model in DAWS Studio. So I have here a V4, Victoria 4 model with a Victoria Elite texture on it and a standard Victoria 6 model. And I'm going to show you that without a script um, how to do that, how to transfer this texture onto this model. Because if you go into your content library and you try to put it directly on her, it won't work. So you have to do it manually, which isn't that hard. So first, click on your Victoria 4 model. Go to surfaces, which if you, I don't know where your tab is, but if not, go to windows, panels, and it is right there, surfaces. Open up Victoria 4. Now, all textures are three basic parts. It seems like this is an awful lot, but it's actually not nearly as uh, bad as you think. So we want to grab the face, the torso, 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 torso. Sometimes they call them different things depending on the model. Actually get it from, there it is. Torso and then limbs. So arm. So first we go to face and I come down and I look for diffused color. I click on that. I right I click on it, left click on it, and I hit browse. I then left click right there and I hit control C or I right click and hit copy and then I just cancel because what I want to do is I wanted to get that location for those textures now I actually don't need the Victoria 4 model anymore but I'm gonna leave her just in case because you never know I make mistakes so now we come to our Victoria 6 model we go to surfaces now the generation 6 is a bit uh, different than 5 and 4 so go to surfaces and we're going to start with the face. So first face, but that also includes lips. So if you hold down control, you can grab the lips as well. Come up to diffused, click on that, browse, and control V, or right click and paste, and then hit enter. And that takes me to the Katie textures. And I want that one with the makeup. So do that. You see how off and messed up that is? That's because I haven't changed the UV setting yet. See, that looks terrible. So you scroll all the way down, UV set. And I want to put it to Victoria 4. Now, if you don't have the Victoria 4 V set or auto fit for um, Victoria 6 or Generation 6, you are going to have to buy it from DAWs, from the DAWs store. I'll post a link below to show you uh, where to go to buy that. So then the next thing is ears, okay, head, I'm holding down control. I also want neck, nipples, torso, and hips. Hips, 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 hips. So again, I want to go ahead and change that to Victoria 4. See, that changes it. Go to diffused color. Browse. There. V. And 
kitty torso. See? Now, I also want to go to their bump map, hit browse again. V. Control V. And there's the bump map. That's the makeup bump map. I'll use that one. Browns. So I have the bump map, diffuse map. I scroll down, and I also have the uh, specular map with specular strength, so I need to change both of them. If I don't change them, it will look weird because I'll have gaps. Because it will be using the other UV map. If I was taking a texture from a uh, another generation 6, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But since I'm going from generation 4, to generation six, you have to worry about it. That should be subsurface browns. I don't think the gen four have subsurface. Nope. So I'll leave the subsurface alone actually and see if I can get away with that. I bet you I can. Go to face and lips again, and I want to change bump map, browse, v4, control v, excuse me, control v, put that, change the secular, control v, enter, Now I want to do the limbs, so that's hands, forearms, fingernails, click for me, forearms, feet, fingernails, hands, legs, toenails, everything. Come back up. Let's go ahead and change. Victoria 4. Back up. Bump map. Control V. Enter. Go to Katie Limbs. B. The B usually means bump. And if you don't know, a bump map is what gives it its texture. It's what gives the texture a uh, texture. This is diffuse. Diffuse is what gives it its color. It's what you see uh, when you usually think of a texture. Oh, shoulders. That's the other one we needed to grab. Let's grab that. Go back up here. There we 
are. There we are. And now we have the elite texture on from a V4 model. We have it on the V6. Let that render out real quick and you can see see how nice it looks. pretty good looks pretty good there's probably a few settings I would mess with but we got what looks like maybe a, a seam confusion or that might be the light that I have on them I don't know I would have to go in but otherwise it looks pretty good so that's all for this tutorial um, be sure to subscribe below like the video if it taught you anything if not like it anyway and tell me how horrible I am be sure to tell all your friends how horrible I am too so I'll see you guys on the flip side peace